Yo, what's up, y'all? We out here yet again, back with another video, another episode, Three Degrees Buffer. I say that, Noriako Corey Johnson, out here taking a step ahead. Uh, we're gonna take a step ahead from the doctorate stuff. I'm not really gonna talk about that stuff tonight. Um, but just to give you a quick recap on the day, we were at church, play the trumpet, I post a video on that. Uh, <laughs> it's interesting. Uh, it, was, it was pretty good, but we lost audio, so we had some mistakes with the, uh, I don't know, with the system. Something didn't work after all the time we put it on the AV system and all that stuff. But anyways, you, you go with what you go. I missed some hits, missed some runs. That's how it goes. Uh, we didn't have our background track to, to play off of. So it was interesting, but it was a good vibe. Um, but after church, I had something on my mind. So I went outside in the parking lot and uh, I was just, I actually recoupled, recorded a couple shorts on it. So you can check those out if you want. Uh, in case you don't want to watch the whole video, you got the whole thing there in 20 seconds. But the, the concept was basically um, on gratitude. You know, we had a Thanksgiving about a month ago. We have Christmas coming up in a couple days here. And uh, obviously the theme of Thanksgiving being, being thankful. Uh, you have Christmas and the idea of this gift that's been given that's definitely something that we can all be thankful for in the form of Jesus um, to save all of us from our sins. It's, it's amazing and awesome gift. But when I think about that gift and I think about gratitude, uh, just like I said in the short, you know, I, if I'm being honest with myself, I don't think that my life lives or expresses gratitude. Uh, it's, just as weird hearing myself say it now as it was when I was doing the short. But I mean, cause you know, we, we think that we're good and we go through life and it's all right. I don't, I don't know how much time we spend thinking about these things, but the whole purpose of this channel is really to provoke thought, um, at least on one hand, but you know, we, we receive things and we say, thank you. And that's great. But does, like, I guess what I'm getting at is how much do we really mean that thank you? In other words, is it just, wow, I received this, cool, and I'm done? Or is it, thank you for this thing, now this thing is going to be a part of my life and change my life? Something pretty popular around Christmas time is ugly sweaters, whether you buy them for your company dinner, uh, Christmas party, or you get them from grandma, you know what I'm saying? Uh, these are gifts that, oh, thank you. <laughs> you, you get them and those things are not really changing your life. You know, it's, it's one of those, yeah, thanks. Kind of no thanks. And let me move on from that. I have a little, uh, welcome to the North Swole shirt that comes out once a year around this time. <laughs> but when it comes to certain gifts and you can think of whatever it might be, we say thank you, but it doesn't really change the way that we live. And I guess the reason that this is having an impact on me right now is I think about the gifts that God specifically gives us through the person of Christ, um, like forgiveness, like salvation, uh, being able to bounce back when we make mistakes, knowing that we're still okay and that he still views us as his child when we do things we're not supposed to do and when we act in ways where we know better. And we ask for forgiveness and we have the assurance of that forgiveness according to the scriptures and we say thank you. And then we do the same thing over and over and over again. It's a loop, like a toxic loop. We'll do something. Oh man, I shouldn't have done that. Hey, God, forgive me. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. And then we go on and do it over and over again. And, you know, if what would it look like for me to really express gratitude, like not just saying it or expressing it in terms of like, oh, I'm so emotional when I say thank you. But as a part of my life, what does it look like to live in gratitude of forgiveness that I've received for the things that I've done wrong? It would probably look like trying to do something different, changing my ways, being better, you know? And I guess when you think about it, it's the concept of 
taking things for granted. Uh, grandma might be giving you that sweater not because she knows you likes uh, <laughs> not because she knows you like ugly sweaters, but because she loves you and wants to do something for you. And I say thank you, and I'm only thinking about the actual gift, the the reception of this sweater that I may or may not want or that I may or may not value. And how much of my thank you is directed towards the person who gave the gift? And how does that impact the way that I choose to live and operate beyond that? Do I do I say, oh, well, I can't wait to get a gift from grandma next next Christmas. And do I treat it like that or am I grateful because there's somebody who cares enough about me to give me a gift, even if it's something kind of funny, something that I may not use all the time, which like which is it when it comes to gratitude and being grateful? And I think that we're all going to deal with this at least on some level in a couple days here, whether you celebrate on uh, Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, you're going to express some of that. It might be something you express on a birthday, but I think it's something that we express, especially if we claim to be followers of Christ and um, embracers of the gift that he's given us through Jesus and especially the forgiveness. How many you know, I'm not saying that it's easy to be perfect and never make mistakes because that's not what it is. But can we live with more gratitude? Can we live in a way that our actions show that we are grateful for the gift that we received? Can we live in a way that I don't have to tell people thank you anymore because they can see it in the way that I'm living and communicating and interacting with people. They can see it and feel it in the things that I do and in the way that I'm acting. I know I could use more gratitude in my experience and I'm definitely not trying to make this a New Year's resolution type thing, but I want to start living with more gratitude. I think I need to. It's easy to look at life and say, well, I don't have this and I don't have that. and yeah, I'm, I'm working hard on this and I'm not there yet. And it's kind of frustrating. It's easy to get caught up in all of that. But what would it look like if we expressed more gratitude? And to continue the theme, not just thanking God in advance for things like, thank you, God, for helping me to get this thing done well, but living as if I'm going to do that thing well, living as if I'm going to make those good choices and better decisions in my future? What would it look like to live gratitude that way? To show it, to, for it to be displayed through the way that we live? I don't know. I don't know because I don't think I've done a good job of that. But it's definitely something that I want to try to embrace and to experience more of. And I think... The feeling that I get is that it'll put me further ahead in my experience because I'm thinking more ahead. And what do I mean by that? Well, if I'm thankful for just something that I receive in this moment, when the moment is gone, if my thankfulness is attached to that moment and that object, uh, my thankfulness becomes a thing of the past. But if in the moment I'm expressing thankfulness and I choose to live in gratitude based on that which I have received, now it's something that is impacting the future. My gratitude is impacting my future and not just the present for a moment and the past. I hope that makes sense. Maybe I'm thinking too hard about this. I just want to be more grateful. <laughs> and I just think that'll be good for me if I do that. <laughs> so, hey. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Uh, if you don't think anything, that's cool too. But we out here trying to take a step ahead. That's all it is. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one, all right? So until then, peace.